that descends down. Now this figure was massive, like almost like uh, taking up the whole sky. Um, and as the being was descending, um, it wasn't formed by clouds, which didn't make sense to me. It was like, it just like kind of almost like a ghost. It just like appeared like ethereal, um, like almost like materializing into form instead of how previously the clouds were turning into a form. This one, it wasn't doing that. Um, so it was slowly descending down. Um, and again, above it, there were swirls of black clouds. If you ever, uh, it's kind of difficult to explain, but. God bless you, Cloud9 family, and welcome back. I truly hope that you are having a very blessed day in the Lord and are excited for the soon return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is truly a blessing to be back again to experience more powerful dreams and visions that have been emailed into the channel. I am Amber, the creator and the narrator of the Cloud9 Blessings YouTube channel that is all about encouragement. It's about sharing dreams and visions, but most importantly, the gospel that can be found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. In this video today, we're going to be looking at a warning dream that was emailed in by our dear brother in Christ, Michael. But before I go ahead and share that video with you, I do want to go ahead and read the email as well. And in his email, it says, Hello, Sister Amber. Here is the video. It is rather lengthy, but thank you again for the opportunity to share these dreams with everyone. He attached Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 16 through 17. God bless you. Well, thank you so much, brother, for wanting to share your experience with the channel family. And he did say that this is a warning dream about judgment. So brothers and sisters, let's now take a look and see what our brother Michael saw in his experience. Um, as many of you mentioned in that dream, um, I believe it was about the great delusion that's going to be coming upon the earth. Um, so I want to thank everyone who commented to uh, enlighten me uh, about my dream. Um, just this past uh, few days, I had another dream um, that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I tried to search scripture for meaning, um, and I think it may relate to the coming uh, wrath or judgment upon the world. Um, so before I uh, jump into revealing what this dream is, um, I just want to say that I hope that this video reaches a lot more people and I hope that it can touch someone's heart in order to uh, lead them towards Jesus um, Christ. A um, little background about me. <clears throat> so I was born and raised uh, as a Christian, uh, been baptized at a young age. Uh, both my parents are Christians. Um, they were under a denomination, I believe Baptist or Pentecostal, one or the other. Um, but as for me, um, I don't fall under any particular denomination. I just stri strictly uh, follow uh, Christianity uh, as a faith. Um, <clears throat> as for how I encountered uh, Jesus, um, I kind of explained that in uh, one of my previous videos, if you look on my channel. Um, my walk with Jesus uh, has been recent, I would say in the last maybe seven or eight months or so, um, just as a kind of um, <clears throat> wilderness season, if you will, just a period of isolation. And I found that uh, through just reading the Bible, the King James Version, and 
just praying and fasting and um, doing these things has tremendously brought me closer to Jesus and the things that he's done for me <clears throat> has really been uh, incredible and I I love that I have an established relationship with him <clears throat> and I want to continue to grow that relationship um, and I'm, I'm just new on all this um, I, I know of Jesus I know of God um, in Christianity when I was younger, but I never really delved deep into it. So I, I hope you guys will understand where I'm coming from with this. Um, and the one, the one thing I want to point out is, uh, you know, I asked Lord, I was like, Hey, what is your will for my life? You know, I think we've all been there when we, we asked that question, like, what are we supposed to do in this life? What is our calling? And one day he answered that uh, with scripture. Um, if you're familiar with Ezekiel uh, chapter 3, verse um, 16 and 17. Um, that was particularly when the Holy Spirit um, spoke to me. That's what That was the first thing that popped into my mind. Uh, didn't think about it. Didn't. Um, um, yeah, it just, it just came in my mind, like almost like a whisper. So I read it. And so th for those who are unfamiliar, uh, I'm just going to read it from the Bible. So again, this is Ezekiel chapter three, verses 16, 17. And it came to pass at the end of seven days that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. And the reason why I bring up this uh, particular uh, two verses, not only are they told to me, but um, a lot of times I've been getting dreams and... They're more like, some of them are kind of dark um, as to what happens in them. Um, I believe it's probably part of the tribulation that's to come. And this dream that I just had recently, I think is more of a different type of warning. So I just, I just want to highlight that before, you know, I jump into this. So... If anyone out there who's more well versed in scripture um, could again help me understand this, because um, this is a journey for me. Um, I did ask the Lord to reveal things to me and um, to give me dreams. Um, I haven't really had any type of rapture dream, um, clearly, as evidenced by the previous dream that I told you guys. Um, and I've been praying for it. So maybe one day he'll reveal a rapture dream to me. Um, but as for right now, I think what he strongly wants is to warn everyone of what's to come. Um, so as I read this, just bear with me. Um, when I wrote it, it was immediately right after I woke up. So it might be all over the place. So I apologize in advance. So, <clears throat> um, and also I, the images that I saw in the stream, I drew them down. So I'm not the best artist, so, but I'll share them at the end of this. Okay, so <clears throat> in this dream, I was in a city, um, like a downtown area walking. Um, if I can describe it, it was almost like when you would go to like a city like Los Angeles. And if you go downtown LA, um, with the tall buildings and busy streets and busy people. Um, that was essentially what was shown to me. Uh, I'm not sure why in particular it was LA or, I mean, that's the strong feeling that I get. It was like a city like Los Angeles. Um, could be because I live here in California. So that might be why. Um, 
So I was at a crosswalk. Um, there were many people around. And again, I had this urge to look up in the sky. So I looked up. Um, it's a really sunny day, um, like a normal day. And, you know, you can see clouds, white clouds. Uh, but all of a sudden, um, I said, what's that? And I, I'm like pointing, I'm like, what's that? And the, the white cloud started to like form and shape and change. Um, I see a figure of a being in the sky. I exclaimed, do you all see that? Still pointing. And what I saw was, um, it's a really big figure of a being. So if I had to describe this, um, it looked like a person, but they were like uh, flying, like um, like with their hands out, and they were going in the um, a particular direction, like they were heading like westbound. I'm sorry, I have something in my eye. Um, yeah, so it looked like they were flying westbound, and I saw like wings on the back of this being. Now, at first it was just one, and that's why I was just pointing at it. I was like, "Do do you guys see that?" No one around me was paying attention. Um, no one answered me. And then it just kind of disappeared. And then um, <clears throat> and then again, it happened again. But this time, there were multiple, there were more than one. And they just like started forming and appearing. And again, they were going in the same direction, like going west. And then again, I pointed to them. I was like, do you guys not see that? And then people started looking up and they were saying, I don't see anything. Um, and then I was like, I see more. And then the point of view, this was like in my point of view, it wasn't third person or anything. Um, but then the point of view kind of shifts, like it kind of pulls back like a camera. And there was this gentleman that started walking up towards me, like from behind me. And he came to like the right side of me. And he said, uh, hey, I see them too. And this is the part of the dream that kind of took a shift for me. Now, in this, this first half of the dream, I didn't feel any type of, uh, like, emotion. Just just maybe curiosity, like, what's that? You know, do you see that? And then it kind of skips a little. And I see, uh, this is where it gets a little dark. Um, I guess both figuratively and literally because the clouds in the sky start to turn dark. And... Um, Then there's another being that descends down. Now this figure was massive, like almost like uh, taking up the whole sky. Um, and as the being was descending, um, it wasn't formed by clouds, which didn't make sense to me. It was like, it just like kind of almost like a ghost, it just like appeared, like ethereal, um, like almost like materializing into form instead of how previously the clouds were turning into a form. This one, it wasn't doing that. Um, so it was slowly descending down. Um, and again, above it, there were swirls of black clouds. If you ever, uh, it's kind of difficult to explain, but 
I guess it's kind of similar to like a tornado, like you know how the, the clouds like start to form like that before like the funnel. Um, that's what it kind of looked like. And this uh, figure was cloaked in all black. Um, and when I tried to look at the face, I couldn't see any face. It was just like pitch black. And there was like, it was like a hood, like a black hood. And it was just wearing like, uh, like black robes and it had like a, like a black cape. Um, and when I saw this figure, I felt fear, like, uh, fear to the point where I was like, I'm getting out of here. I'm running the other way. Um, and I noticed when I saw this figure, everyone saw this figure, like where previously no one was really paying attention. But now when this figure popped up, everybody was paying attention in the city and we all just started running. Um, so that was, that was what I felt in that moment. Um, so yeah, that was my dream. So I'm going to show you the, the pictures, uh, again, excuse me for my <laughs> poor art. But it was right after I woke up, so I was just sketching, you know, so. But this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Um, so if you want to look at it, um, just pause the video and you can kind of take a, a longer look. But, um, yeah, that, when I had that dream... Uh, it was around 6.02 in the morning. Um, this was back on the 9th of May uh, this year that I had this dream. So hopefully to whoever sees this video, um, if I can just piece together what I think this means, I think this means that the end times are approaching and for those who are not saved, um, or who don't believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, uh, and who do not repent of their sins, wrath, wrath is coming. I just put it that way. Wrath is coming on the earth. I mean, it's already been evidence. If you've been paying attention to the news with the uh, tornadoes happening, um, judgment is happening, and... I just pray for uh, all the families who are affected by that, of course. Um, but things are not going to get any easier for us. So it's important that we uh, pray, stick together, encourage each other, build each other up. Thank you, Brother Michael, for sharing this end time experience with the channel. It was definitely intense and clearly a warning of what is to soon come. What really caught my eye was the fact that you had mentioned seeing those clouds form in the sky just before we would normally see funnel clouds. And they were very dark when they appeared in the sky. But they, then you had suddenly mentioned seeing this uh, being that was coming down from the clouds all in black and that had a black hood over his head, and that you had mentioned not being able to see his face. It was very dark. But this made me think about the scripture in Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 through 10. And I'm going to go ahead and read that, because that definitely was um, some of the scriptures that caught my eye with the descriptions that you were sharing. And it says, and war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon and the dragon and his angels fought, but they did not prevail, nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was cast out. That serpent of old called the devil and Satan who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ have come.
For the accuser of our brethren who is accused them before our God day and night has been cast down. And they overcome him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to the death. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. So that really caught my eye, because when you had mentioned that creature coming down, I thought of the devil. I thought because during the time of the tribulation, when that is happening, he is going to be thrown out of heaven. Okay. He will be thrown down at that time during the tribulation period. Now, a lot of people don't realize that the devil has access to heaven and he has been going up and down, up and down and can speak with God directly in the throne room. And so by you saying you saw that instantly just popped in my spirit was this scripture because when he is thrown out, that is when things are really going to get bad here on earth on top of all the wrath that you were mentioning here in this end time experience that you had, because we know that that period is going to be unlike a time that people have never seen. People are not only going to be confused about why their loved ones have vanished during the tribulation, but they're going to wonder what this all means. Why is the wrath? being poured down. And I do believe that there will be quite a few people, of course, that will come to the Lord during the time of Jacob's trouble, the tribulation period, but it is going to be such a hard time. And not everyone is going to get saved because a lot are just going to continue to refuse during that time period. And that is why so many of us, including yourself, brother, are trying to get the message of the Lord out to people to get people to get saved right now. And it is so easy. You even mentioned the simplicity of it. You know, it's by faith. It is by grace. It is by believing in your heart and confessing with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you will be saved. And we know that the gospel is in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, how that Christ died on the cross for our sins, that he was buried and that he rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. John three sixteen says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So all of your, ex you know, the details that you shared in your experience completely made sense to me. I just really felt, and this is my interpretation, that you saw the devil being cast out of heaven. And we know that after he is cast down, there's going to be other evil fallen angels that will be running amok even more so here on earth. It is going to be such a horrific time. But I truly thank you for wanting to share this end time dream with the channel and also sharing your testimony. It is really great to see how many of our brothers and sisters in Christ have come to the Lord, where they have come from, where they are now, and to see the joy and the excitement that they have for the Lord as well. So thank you so much brother michael our brother in christ michael's youtube channel information will be in the description box so please head over there and subscribe i am also going to attach the picture again that he drew at the very end so that you could see it a little bit more up close of what he has seen and i am also going to attach the previous video that has been shared here on the channel because he was featured previously and that experience was also so powerful about the the end time deception. Please type in the comments box, Jesus is King. Please type Jesus is King because he is the King. He is our Lord and Savior, Abba, and he is coming so very soon. I also want to thank all of you brothers and sisters for watching this video, for liking the videos, for watching them for commenting as well as hitting the notification bell because that is how you are kept up to date when new content is added to this channel daily. So until next time, channel family, may God bless you all and have a very blessed week.